Hi lovelies, so today I've decided to do a follow me fibro. I'm going to take you guys along with me. I have been up all night and I have lately have been going to bed around like 4 or 5 in the morning. But I have to leave for my appointment at 7.30 so if I fall asleep for a couple hours and then I wake up, I get really violently ill or I actually throw up. So I thought I'll just keep myself entertained and just stay awake. So I'm hoping to go to my appointment, hoping that it's not stressful or give me panic attacks. And then hopefully afterwards it'll be fine and I can go get a dress. The irony of the situation is, is that I'm going to the doctor who's treating me for my anxiety and depression. Do you see the irony here? Um, yeah, I, I'm not particularly a huge fan. I still miss my doctor from Pennsylvania. He was absolutely amazing and very understanding and he was like a robot, but <laughs> he was very intellectual and not emotion based. And I feel like my doctor here is very emotion based. I don't know what the deal is with doctors in North Carolina. Like, I don't know if they like are harder on them or what, but I'm hoping to get things sorted before I have to leave. And then on Saturday, I'm having a pretend birthday party kind of send off thing with a few of my best friends. And I decided that I wanted it to be semi formal so we could get dressed up and look cute and take pictures because I want to print the pictures and put them up in my room in Florida. So. I decided that and then my sister-in-law came up and wore me out. I had so much fun with her but I'm worn out and so other than today after my appointment when I have no sleep I don't know when I could possibly get a dress other than like the day of. So we're gonna see. If I'm too sick after my appointment we're obviously not gonna be able to go but I'm hoping that I'm able to go because we're already going to be like out toward the shops because the shops are like 45 minutes away from my house. So that's why it sucks. In Florida, they're super close. That's like the good thing about Florida, but here, hmm, not so much. So, uh, yeah, I am going to take you guys with me hopefully because I'm going to be really anxious and I'm going to take you before and after and hopefully shopping. So I will talk to you guys soon. Hey guys, so it's very dreary out, but it is actually pretty warm, so it's tolerable. I am not in a good mood, but this is happening. We're in the car <laughs> and we're out, so life is happening. Um, I did drink some caffeine, shockingly. But I don't think it has the same effect on me as it does to others. But um, my mom was talking about my sleepy eye. And when I'm really tired, it gets really, really, really sleepy. And my sleepy eye is exhausted. <laughs> <sighs> and I am exhausted. But I want to, I really, really want to get just like a plain dress that I could wear like a cute statement necklace with and like tights and flats with or something and I want to be able to wear it to my birth fake birthday dinner send off whatever it is and Christmas Eve church service that's why I really want that I want it every single year and I don't think I have gotten anything a dress last year I, I nice shirt. yeah but that wasn't what I wanted I didn't want a nice shirt I wanted dress. I haven't gotten a dress in probably since like high school. <laughs> but every single year I want to. And it's my, no it's not my, it's not nobody's fault. It's mine. Like my parents always are like we'll get you a dress. We'll pay for it. It would probably be best if like my mom went out and like got it for me and was just like here's your present. Um, but 
it's just sizing is such a hard issue with me because I'm kind of smaller but then like in this region I'm not smaller so it's kind of difficult to fit with me and I have super long legs too so a lot of dresses come really short on me and I don't like that and I actually wear like very modest clothing too and that's usually not in style and yada 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 so oh, I don't know and I hate shopping. Like, hate it. But she, my mom doesn't hate it as much as I do. No. The only other person that hates it as much as I do is my dad. And he's my favorite person to go shopping with. Him and I are like a strategic team when we go shopping. That's what I like. I try on things, I come out, and he says, that's ugly. I go back in. That's cute. Put it in the pile. Go back in. Nope. That's not flattering. Nope. That's too small. Nope. That's too big. Nope. That's good. Put it in the pile. Alright. Let's go. That's it. And that's what I like. And then we just leave one store. We're in and out. Done. I swear we should be like a SWAT team or something. Um, but anyways, yeah. So I'm headed there and I'm just... Usually my mom and I just chit chat on the way there to take my mind off things and then we kind of talk about my appointment and what I'm going to talk to him about and <sighs> that was an actual sigh of frustration. <laughs> so I'm kind of feeling a bit hopeless with my doctors right now. Not that they're doing anything bad or wrong, it's just, you know, you get to a point in your what's it called? Your treatment that there's not much else that they can do for you because there's no cure. So there's not that magic pill to just take away all these crazy symptoms. And that can get really frustrating. And North Carolina drivers are so horrible. Oh my gosh. So I don't know for you guys in other states or if this is a southern thing, but I lived in Pennsylvania, so we drove in blizzards. But people here, like literally it drizzled, right? Mm -hmm. It's it drizzled. The, the street is wet, but it's not like there's no puddles or anything. And people are literally driving like 35 miles per hour on a 55. Like, they're acting like there is black ice everywhere. Like, there is nothing. And it's warm. It's really warm out. It's so crazy. And people... 71. It's 71 degrees out. Like, there's no ice. Like, just drive normally. And everybody has, like, SUVs and stuff, too. So, anyway, it's like you can go through it anyways. So frustrating. So, it's taking forever. Um just because of that and then you have to be so careful because people change like 14 lanes at once and they go fast and they go slow and oh, I'm hoping this appointment is in and out I will talk to you after the appointment <sighs> another sigh hello I'm alive barely as you can see I've gotten out of my appointment and we've gone to Target and I didn't videotape because we literally were going non-stop. I'm miserable, my mother's miserable, but we accomplished what we needed to. My doctor's appointment wasn't too bad, the best part of it was that it's over. And I got... A dress for Saturday and I got a dress for Christmas Eve service so I'm really really excited I got this beanie that's super cute and my mom let me get it even though I paid for it with my own money which she usually doesn't even if I pay for it with my own money she usually just will say we need to go you're getting too much stuff but it's so adorable and it's so rainy that I just wanted to put it on right away so I'm in love with it and we're headed home now and I'm going to eat and then I'm going to have a fibro flare on Thanksgiving but it's going to be worth it because I'm going to look adorable <laughs> for my birth 
fake birthday <laughs> and my birthday. So I'm very thankful to my mom. Thank you, mom. Yep. And um, I will show you guys the things that I got, but I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to show them to you today because I feel like I'm going to die. So I'm going to say goodbye to you guys now and possibly show you a haul tomorrow maybe, or maybe I'll film it tonight after I get some sleep. I don't really know. But I hope you're having a pain-free, stress-free day. Let me know what you like to wear for the holidays. And the other thing that I would like to know is what your favorite Thanksgiving dish is. Um, mine is, what is it mom? Sweet potatoes. <sighs> my, mo my own mother doesn't even know me. <laughs> Isn't that sad? Mashed potatoes. There you go. Oh. Mashed potatoes and gravy. Are you going to make gluten-free gravy? Yes. yes. Mashed potatoes and gravy is my absolute favorite, but I do, um, the biggest deal that I make is the candied yams because I'm always afraid that she's not going to make them. That's why she thought they were my favorite, but, <laughs> and she makes mashed potatoes a lot, so that's probably why she said that, but, so I forgive you, mother, but yes. it's mashed potatoes. I don't even really like turkey. Hmm. I just put a little, like, couple pieces on my plate to, like, well, we have a little itty bitty turkey. To make my parent, my mom feel like she did something useful. <laughs> but my dad eats tons of it, and they eat hot turkey sandwiches, and I'm just really excited. I'm going to talk more about Thanksgiving tomorrow, and I want to know what you guys do with leftovers, and I'm going to talk all about that kind of stuff. So, if you guys have any questions for me about Thanksgiving too, let me know. I'm in the South now, so I'm in this whole new world of Thanksgiving where like they have mac and cheese and they like make menus of things and they have giblet dressing and um, all these like different stuffings and I mean literally have like five different stuffings and greens, collard greens, mm -hmm. um, like eight different pies. We just don't do that in our household. So it's so fun to hear about and like see. And being from the north, that's like completely not what we have at all. And they have black, uh, black eyed peas and just, it's nuts. It's really cool. So, I really want to know all about that stuff. But anyways, did I say have a pain-free, stress-free day? Okay. I meant it. That's why I'm <laughs> just making sure. Sending out X to and as always, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!